Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn best ways to make chalk effect in Photoshop. In this video I tried to explain step by step. I use several techniques that may be useful to you elsewhere. For easy and better understanding, several different examples are mentioned in this tutorial. So let's get started. Subscribe, and most importantly hit the bell to stay notified about new videos. Well, we start the tutorial with how to create a chalk text effect in Photoshop. To do this, after you have typed your text, double-click on the right side of the text layer to open blending options, and from there, click on drop shadow and apply these changes to it. Then right-click on your text layer and convert it to small object. Go to filter menu, noise, add noise, and add some noise to it. Then from filter menu and stylize, click on find edges and set the layer to screen. To increase the brightness, create curves, clip it to below layer and make this change to get better result. To create more match with the background, go to filter menu, choose blur and click on Gaussian blur, and add a little bit of blur to the layer. That was one method. There is another method to create a chalk text effect in Photoshop. In this method, after typing your text, enter the layers panel and hold down the control key and click on the left side of your text layer to select your text. Grab one of the selection tools from the tools panel and right click on the selected section. Then click on make work path. I think this amount is good for this example. Grab the brush tool from the tools panel and click here to open the brush preset picker. Now you should find and choose the chalk brush from here. Go to the legacy brush group and then to the default brushes group. Scroll down to find it in the few brushes left at the end of the group. Decrease the brush size to 15 pixels. Then grab the pen tool from the tools panel, create new layer, right click on the text and click on stroke path. Make sure brush is selected and press OK. Right click on the text again and click on delete path and hide the below main text layer. As you can see the text is faint. To solve this problem, it is enough to make several copies of the layer. Another example is applying the chalk effect on shapes in Photoshop. I choose the butterfly shape in this example. After you draw your shape or import it into Photoshop, go to the blending option and click on drop shadow. Make this change in this window and press OK, and then convert it to small object. Add some noise to it. Now apply the find edges effect to this layer and set layer to screen. Add curves, clip to below and make this change to increase the brightness of the layer. As you can see, the chalk effect is applied on the layer, but it is too clean and we have to get some dirt effects on it. To do this, make selection your layer by holding the control key and click on the left side of the layer, and then click on mask to making a whole shape to mask. Grab the brush tool and make sure the chalk brush is selected, also the foreground color is black color. Now while the mask is selected, dragging on your shape randomize to get a little bit of dirt effect. Now to add more dirt effect to the layer, first convert the layer to rasterize layer with right click on right side of the layer. And while the brush tool with chalk brush is selected, drag on your shape. Make sure the layer is selected and the mask is not selected. Note that you can decrease or increase the brush opacity and flow to get better result. The last example in this tutorial is to use a chalk effect on a girl's face in Photoshop. OK. First, select your object. Then, make a mask for the layer. Go to Image Menu, Adjustments, and click on Black and White from there. Then, go to Filter Menu and click on Filter Gallery. And from Sketch Group, click on Photocopy. Now, these settings vary depending on your photo, and you need to adjust these settings to get a better result on your photo. Set the layer to screen. Create a new solid color with black color on below of the current layer. Then go to Channels tab and click on the blue. Hold the Control key and click on the left side of this layer to make selection the white areas of the photo. Now on the above of the layers, create a new solid color with white color. You can now hide the below two layers. Double click on the right side of the layer to open the layers blending options. From left side of this window choose drop shadow, and now in the right side of this window you can see the drop shadow setting. Now you can add a little bit of white color shadow to the layer to in your result work get more realistic chalk effect. Convert it to small object. 
add some noise to the layer. Set the layer to screen, and for more match the layer with the background, add a little bit of blur effect to the layer. To add some dirty effects, we work like in the previous example. To save your time, I speed up this part of the video. If you have any questions about this, you can ask me in the comments section at the bottom of this video. I will answer all the questions. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe and most importantly hit that bell to stay notified about future videos at all times. It's totally free and you'd support me big time. Anyway guys, then I hope I'll see you in my next video.